Words can inspire and words can destroy. Words can build good relations and can ruin the best ones. Words can create a huge impact or a serious setback. Words can create a lasting impression on the minds of the people, either a good one or a bad one. What matters is how you use it. Once there was a boy named John who was 8 years old. As a kid, he was always climbing trees and poles and hanging around. So, once it came to no surprise for his dad to find him at the top of a 30-foot tree. Swinging back and forth, his little brain did not realize that the tree could break or he could get hurt. His older cousin, Joey, was also on the same tree. He was hanging on the first big limb, 10 foot above the ground. Joey's mother also noticed them at the exact same time as John's dad did. About that time, a huge gust of wind came to cover the tree. The boys could hear the leaves start to rattle and the tree begin to sway. John heard his father's voice. John, hold on tightly. So he did. Next thing he heard was Joey screaming at the top of his lungs, lying on the ground. John scampered down the tree to safety. John questioned his father why he did not fall whereas Joey fell down. The father replied, apparently when Joey's mother felt the gust of the wind, she yelled out, Joey, don't fall. And Joey did fall. He further explained, mind has a very difficult time processing a negative image. In order for Joey to process the command of not falling, his 9-year-old brain had to first imagine falling, then try to tell the brain not to do what you just imagined. Whereas you, John, had an internal image of hanging on tightly. That's why you did not fall. Two key lessons can be learned from this story. Number one, your words can create huge impact. So make sure you taste your own words before you speak them out. Number two, minimize the use of toxic phrases even unknowingly. Because you never know what impact does it make on the minds of the listener. So make sure that you speak positive words and positive phrases. Because words can only be forgiven, not forgotten.